He's making the kind of money that puts you in a position to where you and your future offspring can thrive. You win. And you're going to pass that up. Why? Ego. Bruh. You lose. what's going on youtube is your boy ron back with another video before we get started make sure you please like comment subscribe all that good jazz on the road to 20,000 subs let's get it all right so if you're new to the platform please subscribe oh geez i appreciate the love and support now let's go ahead and jump into it so today i'm going to be reacting to a live stream that zoom to thailand had over the weekend and again i apologize because he had reached out to me and i was actually supposed to um be involved in this live stream um but again a big part of that is because this channel is taking off a lot faster than expected and it's all thanks to you guys man because i appreciate the support so 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 much man i cannot I cannot do this without y'all so again i appreciate i appreciate support man all you got to do is watch the videos and like that's all i ask for you know some guys have sent me cash apps and super chats i appreciate that as well that doesn't go go forgotten um but yes, man, as long as y'all watching and subbing and subscribing, subbing, subscribing, liking, sharing, commenting, that's that's all I could ask for, man. So again, I appreciate it. All right. The reason why I wanted to touch on this, because there is a particular part where this young man that you see here, he says something that I try to explain on this channel a lot. And it's something that guys really need to know and understand. All right, so without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. Hey, Dre, I just wanted to add something, because you said something earlier that I 100% agree with about the respect and about men still wanting uh, the traditional factor. You know, um, oh, yeah. me, myself, my mirror works. I'm a very attractive man. I get them all different colors. But once again, what I was saying earlier is that the dating scene is being changed. I do believe in the Darwinism that, that you know, some women that's going to get it and go the opposite direction but once again, they're really uh, uh, attacking the gender identity. I'm just gonna add this. You know, I make over $150,000 a year. I stay in New York City. I got a luxury building with a doorman. I went out maybe a couple months ago, beautiful black woman with dress such as myself. She came to my apartment. Y'all know this whole hypergamy thing, right? And this is crazy to me, but she's just an example of what I was saying. She came to my apartment. We had fun or whatever. She said, you know what? Afterwards, she said, I don't know if I feel comfortable dating you long term because you have much more than what I have. What? And you can always use that as a point of control. Bruh. Now, that's what I'm talking about as far as, you know, I know some of you guys are, are married and stuff like that. But I'm telling y'all, the modern day dating scene is is changing extremely. Yep. And a lot of it is attack on the media, you know, and a lot of it is the respect part is being pulled out. And even the hypergamy is changing. I had a woman tell me I make too much. Bruh. I can use that as control on her, you know? So that's why I was very uh, interested in going to Thailand. I saw it was a, a lot of, you know, a lot of traditional situations over there. Um, but you win. I just want y'all to know that just realize that 25 and younger, which is the future of, of our country as far as with dating, a lot of them are being turned out by the media and, you know, these crazy premises that they're pulling out there. That's just what I, what I wanted to put out there. You must unlearn what you have learned. Bro, I couldn't agree with this man anymore if I said that word for word myself. Um, Richie Mac, if you are watching this, man, the next time you go live and I'm on there with you, man, I, I, I really need to go back and forth with him. This is the perfect example of what I talk about on my channel. You have a man here who makes 150000 a year. Oh my God. And 
a woman says, you know what? I can't deal with you because you have far more than I do. And can you can use that as leverage. What do I say all the time on this channel about leverage, guys? What do I say all the time about these women not wanting to submit, guys? He he just gave it. He just fed it to y'all. This is what I this is this is what we're dealing with in the West. This is why women in the West, so many of them are single. Y'all are shooting yourselves in the foot. What he said was a perfect example. You passed up on a really good opportunity simply because you don't want to submit. You look so dumb. That's why when women say, oh, I'll submit if, no. I don't want your conditional femininity. Nope. I don't want that because the burden of performance is always going to be on men because we're men. So with that in mind, I need you to have that same mentality when it comes to being feminine. I got to be this way all the time. I need you to be like that. That's why guys are going overseas. He did the same thing. Why? Because he wanted something more traditional where a woman is not going to sit over here and pass up on him because he makes so much money that she feels that she's going to be under his thumb. And Richie Mack is a really good example because everything that Elle does for him, she, he doesn't ask her to do these things. Nope. Like when I showed y'all the clip of her clipping his nails, he told y'all the reason why it takes me so long to edit my videos is because she'll start clipping my nails out of nowhere while I'm doing it. And I'm not asking her to do this. Meanwhile, this man can't even get a woman to take him serious long term because she doesn't want to deal with a man that makes so much more money than her that she that she feels like he's going to use that as leverage against her. Bruh. But women want men that make more than them. Women want men to pay majority, if not all of the bills. You see how all this conflicts with one another? This is why they have such a hard time. They don't know what they want because everything that they want conflicts and clashes with one another. Nothing makes sense. Nope. And the decision that does, that do make sense, requires them relinquishing control, submitting, which is something that they don't want to do. And that's why I wanted to react to this very short clip throughout this. It was it was only about what he said was about a minute and a half, two minutes long out of a five hour stream. But my God, if, if that ain't a good example of why a man should go overseas to find something traditional, I don't know what is. Perfect. Seriously. Like if if that woman was my sister and she told me she passed up on a guy like this simply because. She didn't want to, I would be, I would, bro, if that was my sister, I would tell her, you need to go back and fix that. You're not going to come across too many men like that. Like, and so what? He's taking care of you. He's making the kind of money that puts you in a position to where you and your future offspring can thrive. You win. And you're going to pass that up. Why? Ego. Bruh. You lose. Ladies, y'all got to let this go because this is a perfect example of why y'all shooting yourselves in the foot. I can't believe, I couldn't believe this when he said that. You can't make this shit up. And fellas, y'all let me know what y'all think about this, man. Y'all think this is the kind of behavior that's keeping women single, passing up good men for the sake of not wanting to submit. If you're new to the platform, please subscribe. OGs, I appreciate the love and support. Make sure y'all hit the bell notification. That way y'all know what I'm uploading. And hit the like button because it helps with the algorithm and helps me reach a broader audience. Until the next video, y'all. Deuces.